I know you wanted to talk about France, and in particular Kylian Mbappe, who you feel has, well, not hit the heights of what we might have expected him to be hitting. No, he's gone backwards. Currently. He's mm. gone backwards. I mean, if I look at the player of 2018 when he won the World Cup and how he was just electric and devastating and you really felt he's probably one of the best players in the world at that time, which he certainly was. I look at Kylian Mbappe now and I was disappointed in the Euros with him because there's moments. And that's what you're seeing in the French national team. You know, gone six games without a goal, got substituted late on in midweek and yes, France went to 10 men. But he's not having nowhere near the impact that he once had with for France. But there's moments you're seeing glimpses. If I, I, I watched quite a bit of the, the French game in midweek where against Bosnia, um, where he had his moments. You see every now and again a reminder of how good he can be. But he's not doing it often enough. Now I know that he's had his head turned by Real Madrid and the offer and his contract, uh, PSG, and them preparing, you know, to prepare to keep him mm-hmm. for this final year. But Kylian Mbappe is still a very young man. He's 22. He's got to get back to somewhere close to even to the player we know and love. You can put the French League football in there and say, well, he's still got good numbers, which he had last season for PSG, as in goals with, for performances. Um, but he's nowhere near the, the player he was three years ago at the moment. You mentioned the Real Madrid transfer that didn't happen. Now, when something like that happens to a player, and we're talking mega money, obviously, which... He would have profited from as well uh, yeah. with that move. Um, and also it's a chance to play for a great team like Real Madrid in terms of the historical mm. name of Real Madrid. <sighs> Does that turn a player in terms of can it really affect you if that move doesn't happen or can you easily it, switch off for something like that? Well, it's really difficult one to answer that because he's a Parisian lad, okay, and there's no way on earth PSG wouldn't put a proposal in front of him that could easily compare to what Real Madrid now, if they can turn down £171 million pound for him, yeah. they could certainly put a contract in front of him that would equal anything Real Madrid are paying. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. So his desire is to go and play for Real Madrid, which he probably deems as the biggest club in the world for him to go and play for. And he, it's his ambition to play for that football club. So I, I, I get his understanding. Either way, he's getting hugely rewarded. Mm. You know, mm. uh, it's, not, it's not really coming down. I know we said we use this cliched phrase a lot well it isn't about money and we always go well it is really I'm not really sure in the Mbappe situation because PSG could easily compare to what Real Madrid could do financially yeah, okay. in, in a contract so it's his desire to leave um, which is a which is something strange considering that Lionel Messi has joined the club and they've got a golden opportunity this year of really being I would see PSG far more likely to win the Champions League than Real Madrid Real Madrid have been in a bit, pretty much a mess for the last two or three years but would that be a case maybe then the Kylian Mbappe has looked at the Lionel Messi situation and thought, well, you know, when you want to be the main man, and of course I know there are plenty of main, there are plenty of big name players at PSG, PSG when you in, um, add in Neymar, for example, mm. as well. Verratti, but, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So is there a case of maybe he's thinking, well, with Messi now part of this team, which again, it looks amazing on paper. It, you know, the, it could bring massive rewards to PSG, but... Maybe Mbappe's thinking, well, I want to be the main man at Real Madrid, let's say. Hmm. Is that Why something? not would you not, what, not want to be the main man at PSG? He means 22. No, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I My problem, say my problem, when I watch Mbappe, I realise he's not as good as he was three years ago. You know, and that, it isn't a dip of like, you know, disastrous dip where he's gone from being a world superstar to nobody. He's, he's, he's just, his performances have not been as good. And watching for the French team of late... He's not the same player. You're seeing him in moments in games. You every now and again he remind you of how team? good he is. Isn't that the French team? At well, the moment? maybe because they were disappointing at the Euros. I wouldn't have said that in World Cup 2018. No, I think there but were games the he literally ran the show for France. Mm-hmm. You know, his pace was just so devastating. He is literally going in and out of games. He's sometimes on the fringe. Midweek he was on the fringe of the game. And every now and again, you saw something. Yeah, but at the Euros, we we hear now. Listen, he didn't play it, well in the Euros, now. No, but not many players did for France, and we heard no. about issues in the dressing room causing all sorts of problems for them, and Didier Deschamps having to deal with lots of issues with players in fighting and all that sort of stuff. So in general, the France squad didn't perform to the to the levels expected because they were for for many people's favourites to win the title, mm. and they didn't. Well, I I hope I'm wrong, but I hope he doesn't turn into a Ronaldinho. 
that type of player that has so much and then suddenly his career starts to go slightly downwards and ended up... Because he was one of the world's greatest, Ronaldinho, when he was at his very best. But it's easy as a young man when you get everything put in front of you that you slightly take your eye off the ball and you don't become the same player. You you literally, your performances become diminished in some ways. He's looked like that for France. There's been quite a bit of criticism of him, not with PSG, but with the national team, because he's of not only the Euros, but also in games as, as they've come after. 